for the entrance let us take the hymn a 119 as we gather As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. We are people born of water and the Spirit. We are people come to celebrate God's love. We have come to hear the word. We have come to share the bread. We have come to sing our praises. to God above as we gather may your spirit work within us as we gather may we glorify your name knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship we'll be blessed because we came will be blessed because we came my dear friends today we shall offer this mass for the souls, souls of the family of wilfred and norma joang and for the good health and recovery of elisius dias let us also pray for the birthday celebrant nalisha silvera and let us bring our own intentions before the lord and let us begin this eucharistic celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit My dear friends in today's gospel Jesus teaches us his rules of discipleship and he calls us to watch our blindness to watch the true teacher that is he himself and to watch our hypocrisy and criticism of others as we take part in this celebration let us ask for his grace to be alert always of the evil temptations to always be his true disciples and for the times we have not been following his way we have not been walking his way for the times we have criticized and belittled others for the times we have been hypocrites blind guides to others let us ask for his mercy and pardon Let's all together say, "I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints." and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy 
Let us pray. Bring to mind your intention. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by command of God our Savior, and Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my child in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank him who has given me strength, Jesus Christ our Lord, because he judged me faithful, appointing me to his service. Though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and insolent opponent, but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief and the grace of our Lord Jesus overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, it is you, O Lord, who are my portion. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my lot. Response. It, it is, is you, o Lord, o Lord, who are, are my portion. portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Response. It, it is, is you, O Lord, Lord, who are, are my, my portion. portion. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, bliss forever. Response. It, it is, is you, O Lord, Lord, who are my portion. portion. Let us all stand for gospel acclamation. is truth. Sanctify us in the truth. Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told them a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, 
but everyone when he is fully trained will be like his teacher why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye how can you say to your brother brother let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye you hypocrite first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends today's gospel brings to our focus the rules that every disciple of jesus has to follow the first rule is to watch blindness jesus says there will be two tragic results if we follow in blindness both the leader and or the fall the follower will fall into a pit both will stumble both will fall and second both will walk in darkness because one blind man cannot lead another blind man the only truth we know is jesus Jesus talks about spiritual blindness and a person who does not want to take the truth of Jesus does does not want to follow his ways he is blind to the truth and this blind person cannot lead another person and if another person is also blind to see that the person who leads me is not in the following the principles of Christ that both will fall into a pit you see sometimes parents who fight with their neighbors they tell their children baba do not go to the, the neighbor's house do not talk to them because we have fought they are our enemies so these are blind guides they don't want to enter heaven they don't want to remain with jesus and they also don't want their children to remain with the lord those relatives of us are very dangerous relatives do not go to their house do not hello them do not speak to them we who have been enlightened by the truth of jesus can intervene and say this is not the way of the lord the way of the lord is to forgive but if i also believe the same way as my leader is telling me the parent is telling me the leader could be any person in the authority or could be my own companion and friend if he is a blind guide he cannot guide me and i must not take his example his teaching on the contrary if i am aware of the truth if i am into li- the light of jesus then i must enlighten him this is how the disciples of jesus must live their lives secondly you see the second principle that jesus gives is to watch the life of the teacher recently we have celebrated the teachers day and the best and the great teacher we said is jesus he is our best teacher and every disciple takes the formation from this best and the great teacher he says a, st- a student a disciple is not above his master he can be like him so a disciple cannot expect more praise honor rest comfort than the master himself than the teacher himself 
if uh, jesus as a teacher has undergone humiliation suffering and pain the disciples too will face the first reading today speaks about saint paul acknowledging his shortcoming and how god showed his mercy towards him he says i was ignorant i was a blasphemer i was a persecutor and you know what happens because of jesus is touch because jesus enters into his life to take away his blindness of ignor- of ignorance he uh, experiences the transformation of his life and the persecutor becomes the persecuted he suffers for christ because the master has suffered so all of us who are claiming to be disciples of jesus all of us who are followers of jesus will come across suffering and pain but remember we will be victorious if christ has conquered the world we too shall conquer the world jesus says so my dear friends this is the second thing every disciple must drill into the brain that since we are following christ we will also have suffering in our life we can become like the teacher and therefore more and more we grow into his holiness more and more we grow into his grace nobody nobody can perfectly become like jesus but we can grow into his likeness and the third rule of his uh, discipleship jesus says is to watch hypocrisy and criticism of others here jesus reprimands the one who criticizes the other and says brother let me remove the speck from your eye but forgets that there is a log in his own eye even a little speck is dangerous speck can cause tears in in our eyes splint it we can close our eyes because of that speck so it obstructs our clear vision and therefore even that speck is something serious and dangerous we have to remove that there's no doubt about it but jesus brings to our focus that sometimes we behave like hypocrites and go on criticizing others so what will happen here both persons the one being criticized and one who criticizes will have a problem because both need cleansing both are dirty both need uh, uh, to clean their eyesight their vision their mind their heart and their soul the criticizer has the biggest problem sometimes there is a tendency to project onto others the weaknesses that i have the limitations that i have i am a disturbed person i am an angry bird and i call others angry i let down others because i have a very low self esteem and whatever weaknesses i have there is a tendency to project on to others at least some portion of it or whole of it and i think the problem is with the other and therefore i go on criticize so this could be remember the story of that lady who every day used to come to her window and say she would never open her window but through the window she would look at the neighbor who was uh, drying her clothes on the rope she would say how dirty that lady is the clothes are also dirty one day she decides to clean the glasses of her window and then he realizes she realizes that the problem was with the glasses not with the lady and her clothes so sometimes we behave that way that the more cleansing which is required is for us and therefore what we see in others is my own shortcoming and weakness third problem here is uh, jesus says the criticizer becomes a hypocrite hypocrite he has so many faults and yet he finds faults in others so 
shall we not see what the wrong uh, is done in the, by the other? Shall we not correct the other when mistakes are done? What Jesus wants to understand us is empathy. Whenever we see a mistake being committed by somebody, we, it should pass through us first so that we understand the offender better. If, uh, if we pass through us, we understand that I am weak, I also make mistakes, then understanding of the other will be better. Instead of condemning the other, I will understand and forgive for the mistakes that other person does. And also my correction, the tone of correction, the way I correct will also differ. So this is what Jesus wants us to do. And the fourth point, the disciple must examine himself first. So as we notice the speck in the others, we must examine ourselves, introspect and see that I have big, big logs in my life. And the more I make an effort relying on the grace of God and try to clear myself, the more clarity I will get about the other, that other person is in the image and likeness of God, that I am in the image and likeness of God and life will be de beautiful. Discipleship will be genuine and true. So my dear friends in this Mass, let us ask the Lord to touch us and to open our eyes to see His truth, His way, His love, His understanding, His forgiveness. And whenever we come across the other person, let us show more understanding because I also make mistakes. Let us not be of quick temper, easily condemning others. Let us ask the Lord to give us this grace. For the offertory, we shall take the hymn N24, I Give My Hands. I give my hands to do your work, and Jesus, Lord, I give them willing. To go your way, and every step I shall take cheerfully. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help for the power of His Spirit. My heart and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. 
Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us look at each other as we exchange the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion we shall take the hymn D-115, Lord make me like you. Lord make me like you, please make me like you. You are the servant, make me one too. Oh Lord, won't you give me your strength every day to build a community, to follow your way. Whoever among you desires to be the servant of all, for even the Son of Man came to serve and gave his life for the world. Lord, make me like you, please make me like you. You are the servant, make me one too. Oh Lord, won't you give me your strength every day to build a community, to follow your way. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. For the recessional hymn, we shall take X23, Put on the Armor. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ. Build 
The good news are sown in your 